Hi, so the first thing that I went ahead and did was graph all three of our equations over here. Um, you say that you keep getting confused on which curve is higher and how to split them into regions. So I think once we have them graphed, it's a lot easier to see. Um, it says x is greater than zero, so we're only looking at stuff from the y-axis over. And I have gone ahead and circled these, but there are three intersection points. There's one here, one here, one here. So those intersection points are going to be how we split this up. So you can see right here at the second intersection point, sorry, it's hard to draw a good straight line. Um, that is where it switches from this blue line, the 16x, being on top to this function 4 over x being on top. And so we know that we're going to have an integral from this point here to this point here. So from, I already solved for these. Um, so from one where we found x equals zero to two where we found that x equals a half. And we just find these intersection points by setting the equations equal to each other. So for the first one here, I can see that 16x and x over 4 cross each other. So if I set those two equations equal to each other and solve for x, then it's going to give me the x-coordinate at that point. Um, with the graph, you can pretty well um, see like that this one was going to be 0 and this one was going to be 4, but they're not always going to be nice, pretty numbers that you can just kind of see. Um, so we know that we're going to have two regions. We're going to have the two integrals. And we're just going to add them together. So the second integral starts at this second point where x equals a half. And it goes to right over here where x equals 4. Um, so the next thing we need to do is find um, or define the area that we're looking for. So in the first case, we're looking for the area between 16x and x over 4. And we can see from our picture that the line 16x is on top of the line x over 4. So we can go ahead and say that our equation is going to be 16x minus x over 4 dx. And then for our second one, we can see that um, 4 over x is on top and x over 4 is in the bottom. So similarly, we are just going to take our top function, subtract our bottom function, And now we have two definite integrals that we can evaluate and add together to get that area under the curve. Um, I would say that the best way to know like which one's on top and where the intersection points is to just always start by drawing it out. It's kind of a very visual thing, um, but if you weren't in a position to graph it, you can always just make these equations and set them equal to each other. And if it's a simple case, you can probably find the intersection points that way. And then at that point, if you wanted to know which one was on top, you could just substitute x values in. So if I were in this first region and I said x equals a half and I plugged it into x equal or x over four and 16x, I'm going to get a larger number by plugging it into 16x so I know that that one's on top. I hope that that made sense. Thanks.